Hi, it is Marie, and I am back again today with another video, honestly, because I don't have that much to do right now, um, and so I thought I'd take this opening of free time to, uh, to post something. Um, so today I wanted to address the issue of driving. Um, now I choose, I choose not to drive, um, but I think there's, there's, um, a mystery around the time when you turn 15 um, if you have cerebral palsy it's it's a mystery that's like do people with cerebral palsy drive can I drive um, and you know when I was eight years old I always envisioned myself driving I always wanted to drive um, and then when I got to be about around 12 um, 13-ish or so, I was like, well, maybe, maybe I can't drive, and that really, that really worried me, that really concerned me, um, but it was always, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it, um, and so when I was, when I was 15, I did get my permit, um, I, so I have, I have driven, driven before, um, but it just, it just really, really, kind of scared me um, because for one I um, because of my vision issues I couldn't I didn't feel like I was seeing all that I should be seeing on the road um, and I felt um, that you know I wasn't in complete full control um, because of my fine motor skills and other reactionary things that come with cerebral palsy you know, I can never judge if my muscles are going to react the, the way I want them to react. Um, and so that really, really scared me. And for me, it's not so much of a question of um, will I get hurt. Um, for me, it's more of will I hurt other people. You know, I, I honestly, um, I care less about if I get hurt while I'm driving myself when I'm behind the wheel um, than I do if I end up hurting someone else or killing someone else um, because I'm not in complete control. Um, and so, you know, it's a case-by-case, case, um, you know, a thing you have to look at because there are people with cerebral palsy that drive. Um, and if there are people who don't, you know, every person is different. Um, now that doesn't mean that you shouldn't go out there and, and get your permit and uh, you should stay away from driving altogether. I believe that you, you should try to drive um, and, and you should at least know what it feels like and give it a try, um, but do it in good conscience. Um, be conscious of the fact that you do have cerebral palsy when you drive. Um, and now I know there are other uh, pieces of equipment and other tools that help people drive um, and that's all good. I just, given my eyesight, um, given the lack of my fine motor skills um, and other sketchier responses, I, I just I've chosen for myself not to drive. Yes, it does take away a bit of my independence, um, actually a lot of it. Um, and yes, it does get frustrating um, figuring out how to transport yourself from point A to point B. Um, but in the end, I, I think I'm based on my own experience and based on knowing myself, I think I'm making a better choice, not only for me, um, but other people. Um, and so that is why I've, I've chosen not to drive. Um, now I know my, my family members are, are very vocal about, we want you to drive, you know, you're going to get out there. It just takes practice. Um, my grandmother is, is very invested in pointing out the people with cerebral palsy that drive. Um, but honestly, again, I have to go back to the fact that I think it's a case-by-case -case basis. Um, 
And and so that's that, that's where I will leave you on this Saturday. I will say goodbye, and I will see you in the next video.